in the last video we have seen about the introduction about inventory and uh, after that uh, we wanted to see now uh, how to define a facility shifts work the pattern and define schedules in this video so the practicals we are going to see now so for that uh, you have to go to the manufacturing and supply chain material management so here you can uh, search or facility shifts Either you can search, see here in the facilities, uh, when you wanted to go for this uh, navigation, you just go to the click on your uh, user's uh, username and then set up and maintenance. There you have to select uh, uh, offering is manufacturing and supply chain material management and then you have to click on the facilities over there, just click on the manage facility shifts. So now we are going to create a shift and one more thing here you have to remember one point clearly that you uh, it is make sure that these shifts work the patterns and schedules which we are going to create are related to organization it is not related to human capital which means that uh, these all shifts and all it is not related to uh, employee it is related to a organization which means that if we are purchasing something if we are raising the, any requisition or a, anything then the inventory organization or uh, uh, item organization is maintaining this shift and this uh, workday and this is the holiday for this uh, organization not for the employee okay so this uh, employee related or uh, human related uh, shifts or the pattern schedules are maintained by the finance team so now we are going to see only related to inventory organizations okay so this point you have to make sure that clearly remember this one before creating this one okay now we are going to create a new shift let's say create uh, my shift is dt learn uh, day shift I'm just creating like that okay I'm just creating. Uh, this is a PT learn day shift I given like this and description okay just shift like this I'm giving or else not like uh, day shift or night shift I'm just giving a shift PT learn shift I'm just giving DTS and start time is I'm giving see the format you should be like a uh, uh, hours, minutes, and a okay, nine a okay, like that you have to give, and duration is uh, nine hours a day. Here, yeah. nine hours. I'm selecting okay. Category it is not a mandatory and not required to define work from home or office. If it is related to employee, we will define this or it's not required and shift detail type. It is like a flexible none or punch, like punch in, punch out or flexible like 4 hours in the morning, 4 hours in the afternoon. Like that we have to define. Okay, just I click on flexible which means that uh, let's say you can create a new shift as well. Okay. Let me try to create a shift here. Name is uh, see here flexible shift end time start mid time start time okay like that you can create a shift just let me start day one start time is 9 a.m. okay and duration is four hours okay so here you want to give any break time or anything like that you can give it okay so like that you have to create a shift details now i'm going to create click on save and close this is the way of creating shifts okay so here you can create a more i mean end shift okay see it is showing clearly the end time and last shift details must be equal to end time of the shift here we have defined only nine o'clock Okay, but 9 hours we have defined, right? But end, uh, duration is 4 hours on date is covering. So, we have to clearly mention that flexible shift end time also. Start time should be like uh, 9 hours, right? 10, uh, 11, 12, 1. And it should start from 2 o'clock.
and duration will be 4 hours. See, it will show you clearly again. Yes. Now, meal time we have to define. It should be flexible. 4 working hours uh, uh, or else shift. Start meal time. Start time will be 1 to 1 hour. 1 hour. Okay, clearly now we define. So here total 9 hours got covered. So this way we have to create a shift. Now let's save this. Now see, we just click on done. So now we have created a shift. The second point is we have to define facility workday pattern. So for that you see manage facility workday patterns. Click on that. Here click on new. Okay. So here I am giving BT learn minus workday pattern. So just <coughs> giving description. Here length in days. How many days? Yeah. Uh, in a week you are going to uh, work okay so let's say five days in a week then you have to give like uh, monday to uh, friday then you have to give five days okay so here workday pattern details should be like just click on create how do we define uh, the start and end day i'll tell you now clearly see here start day so when you are, are, I mean in a week we have total 7 days, right? It will calculate from Monday to Sunday. So Monday will be 1 and Sunday will be 7. So the start day will be 1 and end day, my working days are how many? 5 days, which means Friday. Okay, and shift name would be uh, anything like you can create a new or you can search here. Shift name, sorry, you already created, right? With BT Learn, that shift you have to select here. See this one, BT Learn. I created that shift. So this is my shift. If um, let's say my working days are like uh, six days in a week, then one to six you have to define. Or my week off will be not like Saturday and Sunday. It will be like a Tuesday, and. Uh, what a Monday and Tuesday? Let's consider Monday and Tuesday. That time, how do you define uh, it? The start day should be from Wednesday, which means three, and end day will be seven, which means Sunday. So it will be starts from Wednesday to Sunday. Okay, and uh, it is not like a continuation of two days. Uh, it will be like a Tuesday, and let's say if uh, the uh, week off would be like. A, Tuesday and Thursday. That time, how do you define? You have to define two, three rules. Okay. The first week starts from Monday to, which means one, and uh, it, it should end with a Monday only, right? So, Monday, one record, and Tuesday will be holiday. And the second one is, it should start from Wednesday, three, and it should end from quarter. Uh, I mean Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Uh, sorry, Thursday, right? Four. So like that, we have to create a three records. That way, we have to create a workday pattern. Now I'm going to save and close. This is the way of creating workday and pattern. So here you simply consider like uh, one uh, will value will be Monday and seven will be Sunday. So, based on that, as per your requirement, you can create a workday pattern. Click on that. And the third point is creating schedules. Facility schedules. Okay. Now, creating a schedule. BT learn schedules. I'm giving ST. Okay. Uh, category which I am not uh, selecting. Effective date from and uh, my time schedule starts from when? From today. Okay. 
so from date and today date you have to give it okay so and here workday pattern you have to create I'm just simply selecting one workday pattern which we already created BT learn we already created right five days in a week we are working so that is what uh, I've selected and yeah first day of week would be see here it is a Monday okay and here schedule exceptions were there which means that any holidays uh, are there then uh, you have to create this schedule exceptions that I will first uh, show you how to create this schedule exceptions you can create from here or you can directly from this window the main window as well let me save and close I will show you schedule exception. If the schedule starts is at the first day of the week, the partial first period on work week will be generated. We want to continue. Yes. Okay. Just I given that one. Now uh, let's just go to create. Uh, now exceptions, right? We have to create a exceptions. Here let me all tasks are there. Search for exceptions. See here manage facility schedule exceptions. I'm going to create that. So create see all holidays listed as I'm just going to create a, a new one. Let's say it's like a Pongal for Pongal holiday. I'm going to give a holiday. I'm considering it as a this one. Okay. So I'm just giving this one before anything. I'm giving like this. Exception starts from what? From January. Mm, I'm giving from 13th or 14th. Yeah, 14th. Not 14th. 13th okay exception end date is also one day only giving January for 13th okay so all day here holiday okay so this save and close and so period type is off period This is how you create a schedule exceptions and now we have to assign these schedule exceptions to uh, what the third point is schedules. So here and this facility schedules I am going to open. Now I have already created BT Learn HD schedule and for that I am going to assign a schedule exception which I already created. So my exception name is Pongal I created right. Let me search the Pongal. See Pongal right. Save and close. So here uh, it actually starting from effective from. Uh, May right, so that is the reason it is asking. Actually, we are uh, uh, effective from date. This schedule is effective from date, it starts from May, but uh, we are creating this exception from January, so it is not applicable, right? So, from first Jan, it is effective and giving okay. Effective due date will be like December and giving okay, December 31st for a year. I'm just giving save and close. The schedule started isn't at the first day of the week. Partial, yeah, the same one. Okay, now we are going to click on done. This is how you create a shifts, facility shifts, workday pattern, and schedules as well as schedule exceptions. Okay, I hope you understood well. So, in the next video, we are going to see how to create item organization, inventory organization at all the levels. Okay, thank you.